are Year 2? Welcome to your spelling for this week. Let's have a look at our new spelling rule. OK, so we're still looking at the sound J. Last week, we learnt that it can be spelt D, G, E. That's three letters working together to make one sound, J. This week, we're looking at words where that same sound, J, is spelt with just a G and an E. So we're going to drop the D this week and we're going to go for G and E. OK, and that is also going to make a J sound. This kind of spelling comes after all other sounds other than short vowel sounds. So last week we had this one after short vowel sounds and this week we've got GE in words that have other sounds in them before the J. OK, let's have a look at this week's spelling list. Can you read the words with me? Age, huge, change, charge, bulge, village, range, orange, hinge, stage. Well done. Which sound do all of these words have in common? Pardon? That's it. They all have a J sound. Let's see if we can spot the J sounds together. Age, huge, change, charge, bulge, village, range, orange, hinge, stage. Well done. Which two letters can you see in each of these words that make the J sound? You've got it. It's the G-E at the end to make the J sound. Super stuff. So let's have a look at our first activity for this week. Copy the words onto your whiteboard. Now you might not have a whiteboard, so just use a piece of paper and a pencil. Once you've done that, can you underline the sound that comes before our J ending? Let's start together and I'll show you what I mean. So the first word we've got is age. Now I can see that J sound at the end there and before my J sound I've got this sound here and that makes an A sound in this word, doesn't it? an A sound and then I've got my J on the end of this word, haven't I? I've got my J just there. Shall we try one more together? Okay, the next word is huge. You're right. Can you see there's my J sound at the end? What sound's coming before my J sound? It's a split U sound in this word, isn't it? Huge. And there my J sound on the end. So I've got an A in this word and a U in this word. They're both long vowel sounds, aren't they? And that's why we have GE at the end of those words instead of DGE. Copy the rest of the words onto your piece of paper and have a go at finding the sound before my J sound. See you in a minute. How did you get on with that? So in the word change, you've got a N. What about in the word charge? R. L in bulge. I in village, that's a strange one because it looks like a split A but it makes an I sound, doesn't it? N and another N and another N the last one we've got an A sound at there and there 
So we can see that none of these words have short vowel sounds in and that's why we spell the J sound with just a G and an E.